come behind me here are the Airbus panels for the 320. And as I get incredibly involved with this upset prevention recovery training, otherwise known as the EET, the extended envelope training, there's something that every Airbus pilot, every 320 pilot has got to be aware of. It's paramount that you understand this. And this is forcing alternate law. Sometimes, okay, hopefully never in your career, but maybe you're in a situation where you actually would need to force alternate law to remove certain protections from the aircraft. Now, there's a few different scenarios I can give you and it'll extend well in length beyond what I would like this video to be, so I'm gonna save that, but what I wanna to talk to you about is forcing alternate law and how you do it, okay? So, a couple ways to do it. The most preferred way is usually to turn off two ADRs. You go to your ADR panel, that's on your overhead, top left side, and you turn off two ADRs, and what this does, of course, is system failure plus a redundancy, you end up going into alternate law. You're forcing alternate law, hence removing all these uh, protections that you may not want. Now, when you go to remove two ADRs, it's preferable that you remove ADR number one, ADR number two, and then you put your switching panel, okay, I don't know if you guys can see it from there, but we have an air data switch in the switching panel where you can actually put the air data to captain side, number three, air data three, on captain side or FO side. Paramount that we turn off ADR number one and number two because the switching panel, of course, gives us the ability to switch the captain and the FO for the number three data, number one. Number two, here's the point that always goes uh, undiscussed or maybe uh, not mentioned in any classroom, or maybe just the, the mystery part as to why are we turning off one and two and not three? Why is it never number one and number three? Well, look, your landing gear has a little internal logic, which is basically this. If you try to put the gear down at an indicated airspeed above 260 knots, the gear wouldn't come down. You can try this in a sim. Okay, if you're doing 280 knots, for example, you put gear handle down, the gear won't come down, right? So that data input, comes from ADR number one and ADR number three. So let me tell you what happens if you were to turn off ADR number one and number three. Now you've lost that airspeed input to the LGCIU, right? Which is your landing gear control interface unit. And now you are unable to lower your gear. What? Yes, that is the way this works, folks. If you don't believe me, try this in the simulator. Turn off ADR number one and turn off number three. Try to put your gear down, and what you will find is because there is no airspeed input, which comes from number one and number three, the landing gear now no longer knows if it's safe below 260 knots or if it's not above to put the gear down. So you're forced to actually do a manual gear extension and there's various procedures such as ADR one plus two plus three fault where it actually calls for a manual gear extension because of course, when you turn off all three of them, number one and number three being as part of all three, now you have no more airspeed data. So part of this video is understanding a few things, right? The first part is of course, how do I force the aircraft into alternate law if God forbid I need to do that? Usually what we preach here is ADR number one and number two off and then number three on the captain switching panel, or on the switching panel, you can put it either to the captain three or FO three, right? Now, the reason you're doing that, there's a why. Everything here is about why. Why am I doing that? We don't want you to just, you know, learn things from memorization and then go take an exam. We, all, we always want you to learn them, not memorize them, learn them, understand why you're doing what you're doing. The reason you're doing number one and number two is because, of course, the switching panel gives us access to the number three ADR, but furthermore, number one and number three are the ones that give airspeed inputs to the LGCIU to later on extend the gear when it comes time for landing. This is the reason for that. Hey, if I can help you anyway, if Juan can help you anyway, reach out to us, onestepprep.com. Can't wait to work with you right here. I'm standing in our Miami training room right here. Cannot wait to potentially see you right here working with us in person.